Hi, I'm Muhammad Sajid Azmi. I'm the head of science department at AIS. I'm at this place for the last 13 years now. Presently, I'm heading elementary, middle school and high school science. The curriculum that we have adopted at this point of time is NGSS, which is called Next Generation Science Standards. Now, that's the most recent curriculum which is going on in the US at present. That's what is building up the scientific inquiry skills into all our students here. Right from grade 2 up till grade 12, it's the same curriculum which flows here with incre gradually in, uh, increasing level of advancements. We adopted this particular curriculum some four years back and after that the implementation is still happening here. Now the results are coming up here. Now what, when we see our MAP results here, when we see our external assessments here, that's where we come to know how the curriculum is paying off here. Our middle school is doing really good when we see our students coming up with projects and planning their own workshops. The students at middle school are doing, thinking out of the box here and creating their own learning environments here. We have some very qualified teachers in our schools here. Moving on to high school here, things get very interesting and good there. Our school is one of the very few schools in Dubai which has taken up the AP course. Advanced placement is helping our students getting into US universities. Students right from the middle school start preparing their own projects here. We see the students planning their work. We give a real life hands on experience to students here where they are taken up to various places here out of the school here so that they can experience science on their own here. Our projects are real research based projects here where the students have to go through the complete process of research work starting from the hypothesizing to analyzing and then documenting and presenting the work here. We prepare students not just for schooling but for life. Practical experimentation, lab work is a very common practice. It's a norm. In every class we go from grade 2, 3, 4 upwards till grade 12. As you move upwards you'll see lab though it's not a compulsory part into American curriculum here yeah, but we have made lab and practical as a necessary assessment. Students are assessed, they do give lab exams which test the performance skills. Now this is what prepares our high school students for university. End of the day we want to see our students as leaders, leaders leading in every spheres of life here. Our high school students are really doing good here when we come to the grade 11 and 12 where we have so many electives offered to them here. We have divided all our sciences into four different levels here starting from grade 9 which is integrated sciences then going up to the level 1 which is in grade 10 it could be bio 1, chem 1 or physics 1 then going to level 2 and then ultimately in grade 12 they have two different options to choose from. One is the level 3 and the fourth one is the AP. AP is making a big difference in the students life these days here. In fact, the last year's average scores was between 3 and 4, which is really remarkable. Many of our students today are seeing themselves are studying in medicines. They are becoming doctors, engineers, and we see them when they come back and they give the feedback here, which is so motivating for us and for the whole department here. Our teachers are constantly going through this professional development courses through because of which we are seeing our teachers being so easy with the IT integration into the science department here. Tablets came into our school quite long back here. In fact, four years back, tablet was made common to all the students in our school here. Right after that, yeah, we, we had our teachers trained into that. And tablet technology has helped our students progress so fast and so well in all science fields here. Today, students are making their own videos here. They're going into and practicing all type of simulation activities on tablets. It could be FET, it could be Padlet, it could be Socrative. There are n number of websites and applications which we see the teachers practicing in the class here and students enjoying the work, working with the help of tablet and ICT. Students now are designing their own way, designing their own learning, they are designing their own presentations, they are making their own websites too here. As projects we give students of grade middle schools, they make their own websites. High schools go beyond that here. So ICT has become a common thing for all of us here and we see that helping the science department a lot. That has helped our students and ultimately the whole school as a society is growing because of the, of the growth of a student here.